in place. Way 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield caught up with district leaders to find out what's being done in hopes of preventing any more shootings. She continues our team coverage now from JCPS headquarters. Following the shooting Tuesday at Fern Creek Traditional High School, many of you wanted to know just how often students have carried guns into JCPS buildings. We went digging for those answers, and what we found may surprise you. Much like students, school districts also receive report cards detailing strengths and weaknesses. Findings for last school year will not be out until Friday, but in looking at the school year prior, JCPS had a total of 42 incidents involving weapons of some sort between 2012 and 2013. While metal detectors are in place and regularly used at the district's three non-traditional high schools, none of these three schools experienced any incidents involving weapons in that time span. Neither did Fern Creek Traditional High School, at least not that school year. Between 2011 and 2012, the Tigers have five incidents involving weapons on file. This was the first shooting inside a JCPS school in the history of our district. We hope this will be the last. But if metal detectors are not common in all JCPS schools... There's a lot of things that we can do between where we were yesterday and uh, going to metal detectors. Hey, I got one more kid What's being done to prevent the scene that unfolded Tuesday at Fern Creek from happening again. Well, we had extra officers present at the school today. Beyond that, district officials and police say they'll review policies. We are always reviewing those to make sure that we're doing the best that we can do. Policies that mandate any student caught with a weapon be expelled for one year or assigned to one of the district's three alternative schools. JCPS's latest report card is expected out this Friday. You can expect updates at wave3.com. From the Van Hoose Education Center, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News.